All right, so right now let's do our total dissolved solids test. I have two glasses. One's labeled tap, of course, for tap water. And I've got another glass labeled air for our air to water machine out there. So, of course, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put some tap water in the tap glass. All right, there's our tap water. Let's run out to the garage and we'll put our machine water in here. All right, so here's our glass of tap water. We'll just set it right there. Here's our glass of, quote, air water, which we have none of yet. So let's just empty from the purifier into that glass. All right, so there's our air and our tap water. This is a total dissolved solids tester. I just checked it out on Amazon, uh, $16.07. I'll put a link down below where you can check these out. Even if you don't want to make this machine, you should still have one of these. Test the uh, water that you're drinking. Um, you know, the EPA recommends anything under 500 parts per million is drinkable water. Um, of course, we want to be as low as possible. But for this test, we're just going to compare our tap water versus the water that we've made here. Just take the cap off. Turn it on. Okay, right now it says zero parts per million. Let's put it in the, let's test the air water first. Okay, push hold. So the water that we made has 71 parts per million of total dissolved solids. Now let's test the tap water. I'm going to clear it and just clear it by turning it off and back on. Okay, I'll put that in the tap water. Looks like a dead even 200. So I'm going to push hold. Let's call it 199. That's a pretty big difference. Of course, you know, 200 parts per million for tap water is fairly expected. Um, but go, anything below 100 on our uh, homemade water, as it were, that's pretty incredible. So I'm going to clear that. I'll just turn it off. But yeah, what this does, um, you know, we know now that in this water that we made, there are no prescription medications, copper, lead, fertilizers, pesticides, industrial waste, or sewage, or whatever other total dissolved solid you can imagine. In our tap water, there's probably not, but we don't know for sure. But since we know that we made this water, we know exactly what's in there, which is nothing. So pretty dang cool. So let's get to the next step. We're going to add our half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt per gallon of homemade water. All right, guys, we finished with the whole process. We're almost done. What we're going to do now, I've got a gallon of water, and we're going to add this Himalayan salt to it. This is just some stuff my wife buys. It's in a crystalline form. You can get it almost anywhere. And what she does, she just crushes it down so that it uh, dissolves in the water a lot easier. So this is pretty much just powder. All right, so we're going to take a gallon of water. Take the cap off. Now again, this, this Himalayan salt's been crushed. So it's really easy to put it in the measuring scoop there. Okay, just add that to our gallon. Put the cap back on. Put the lid back on the gallon. I'm just going to shake the heck out of it. 
just to get that salt to dissolve pretty good. What this does, that Himalayan salt adds 84 minerals back into the water that you need. No fluoride, no lead, no pesticides, no prescription drugs. I mean, there's, there's nothing in there but water and 84, you know, minerals that your body needs. If we didn't put those in there, it wouldn't be a massive deal. I mean, if you had to survive on it, it'd be just fine to drink. Um, but putting the salt in there, it lets your body absorb the water a whole lot better. I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not selling Roxanne water. This is just a recycled bottle I had laying around. Um, yeah. Let's take a, take a swig of this, see how it tastes. Go down here. Oh, it's awesome. It's really good. I like a lot of water. I drink five to six quarts a day. And especially when it tastes this good, it's hard not to. You guys are going to love it. So a half teaspoon Himalayan salt per gallon of water. Gives it a smooth, perfect taste, just like you would expect good water to taste like. All right? All right, guys. Thanks for checking out this product. It's been an absolute pleasure. We'll talk to you soon.